now. Right. Um, welcome everybody. So glad to see everybody out this evening um, on our class. And I just wonder if anybody has an oil story that they would like to share tonight, a good positive oil story that maybe happened to them or someone they know during the past week. Nobody, nobody's been using their oils. <laughs> I've been using my oils. I brought my big bag with me. I'm out of town, I'm up in the mountains, getting away from the heat of Texas. And um, I discovered the saddest thing. I reorganized my bag that I carry with me with my oils and I left my frankincense out. So fortunately, <laughs> fortunately I have a, um, a mini vial so I can at least use that and have my two drops every morning. Um, also when I drive and when I lift things, my, the arthritis in my left shoulder goes absolutely crazy. And so of course I've driven several, I've driven about a thousand miles to get here and um, stopped at two hotels. And then here, when we got to, when I got to the Airbnb that we're renting for the week um, and I've carried things in and out, in and out, in and out. So my shoulder was really bothering me and my deep blue rub and oil have been my best friends. So put that oil on first and then make it seep in really deep with the rub and it just takes all that pain away. So I'm really grateful to have the wonderful doTERRA products that we have. So anybody else, anything that you wanna share? Well, okay. um, I have a, a little bit of an oil story, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, my son is 14 and you all, many of you know that he has autism and he's aware that he has autism um, and he is getting ready to go back to school. His school starts next week, which is earlier than most public schools in this area. Um, it's a charter school. So they start a little earlier and then they have a two week break between semesters in the fall, which is really nice. Um, but anyway, so he, he get, he's getting ready to go to bed at night and he goes upstairs and he does his little you know routine and everything. And then about 10 minutes later, we see him coming down the stairs, mom. I can't stop thinking. <laughs> so I was like, well, okay. He goes, do you have any oils that can turn my brain off? <laughs> and I'm like, well, yeah, yeah, I have something. So <laughs> I go back upstairs and we pick up Roman chamomile and Tulsi for him. And just uh, a drop of each one straight, just neat on the bottom of his feet. Um, on the bottom of each foot. So he's getting two drops total of each one. Uh, seems to do most of the trick to getting him to settle down at night. Um, but I love the way he comes down. He says, do you have any oils that can turn my brain off? <laughs> and we all have that problem sometimes. So it's great to have those. And that Tulsi is amazing. So... I am gonna share my screen. I'm gonna be talking tonight about natural energy with doTERRA. Why are you there? I want you down there. Thank you, so I can do this. Okay. So any of you ever have problems with energy, with your energy level? Feel tireder than you want to feel? Do you know what energy is? Energy is simply the capacity to do work. So here's just a little bit of a drawing that I found on the internet that kind of shows how we get energy, what kind of happens when we get the energy, and then we dispose of the waste products. So we get chemical, chemical energy from the foods that we eat and other things like respiration gives us energy. And those things come in and they 
create ATP, which is the body's energy currency, like our wattage, and that feeds our metabolism, which gives off heat. And then there's chemical waste as well, carbon dioxide and water, we give off those things. So our bodies are really an ama amazing machines. Um, so cellular energy is what our bodies need to work and what we need to feel good. You can, if you look up energy on the web, obviously some of the first things you're gonna find are light bulbs and oil wells and wind, wind machines, all of the things that create the energy that we use in our homes and in our businesses. But we're not talking about that tonight. We're talking about cellular energy that helps us to get through our days and be able to do the things that we need to do. And that energy is created in the nucleus of the cell in the mitochondria, which are found in the nucleus. And they convert the air we breathe and the food we eat into ATP, which I just said, it's a special type of fuel, powers our cells. And of course, then of course it powers us. So ATP stands for adrenosine triphosphate. And it's just an energy carrying molecule. It's found in the cells of all living things, not just people, but all living things. And it captures chemical energy obtained from the breakdown of food molecules and it releases it to fuel other cellular processes. So what's the opposite of energy? <laughs> Fatigue. The Mayo Clinic says, most of the time fatigue can be traced to one or more of our habits or routines, particularly lack of exercise. It's also commonly related to depression and occasionally it's a symptom of some underlying condition that will require medical treatment. But it can be related to also besides lack of exercise or depression, it can be related to alcohol or drug use, excess physical activity. If you've been really, really busy, obviously you're, you can be tired. Jet lag, again, lack of physical activity, medications such as antihistamines and cough medicines, not, not getting enough sleep and unhealthy eating habits. <clears throat> now, the reason I have those two highlighted, lack of physical activity and unhealthy eating habits, because those are the ones we're gonna talk about tonight. So physical activity, we all need it. Starting a fitness program, maybe one of the best things we can do for our health. Physical activity can reduce our risk of chronic disease. It can improve our balance and coordination, help us lose weight, and even, of course, improve our sleep habits and our self-esteem. So if you want to get started, you just got to do that. You just got to get started. And I think we need to start slowly. I used to be extremely active. Um, I would get up at 4.30 in the morning and I would run walk four and a half miles with my golden retriever every morning. Two days a week, I would come home and do a weight routine after work. And on the weekends, I would go for a hike of eight to 10 miles. So I was very, very active. And I can tell you, I didn't get there to that point right away. It took me months and months to get over a year to really get to the point where I was doing all of that. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna start and build up, start slowly and build up gradually. You add a little at a time because 30 minutes a day, if you do 30 minutes a day for five days a week, that's 150 minutes. And that sounds like a lot. So if you start by moving 10 minutes a day and then every few weeks you add five to 10 minutes, if eventually you're gonna get up to that 30 minutes most days. And you always wanna give yourself time to warm up and cool down. Gentle stretching is a good way to do that, walking slowly. And then you wanna speed up to a pace that you can continue for five or 10 minutes without getting overly tired. As your stamina improves, then you can increase the amount of time you exercise. And you can break things up. This is kind of a new thing to me. 
um, I know it's, it's a fairly recent thing where they've decided that. You don't have to do it all at one time. You can weave in activity throughout the day. So I, what I do now is Bella and I go for a walk in the morning and we go for about 20 minutes. And in the evening, we do the same thing. So I get about 40 minutes in the day, um, but not all at once. And then I also do some stretches and those things throughout the day. So you can do shorter, more frequent sessions and those have aerobic benefits, which are good for our, our cardiovascular system. And um, got Sonia coming in, hang on here. Let me see if I can, there we go, I think I got her. Um, it may fit into your schedule better to do short sessions a few times a day instead of trying to do it all, it all at once. And you wanna be creative. If, like I said, I, I did run walking, I started out walking and, and then I did run walking and I'm not a bicyclist. My husband was a bicyclist, but a lot of people ride bikes and walk. They may use a rowing machine. They may go to the gym a couple of days a week. I like to be outside in the fresh air. So that's why I like walking, um, take a weekend hike or do some ballroom dancing, take a Zumba class, do some yoga, lots of ways to interweave different things so you don't get bored when you're trying to be active and listen to your body. We've all heard the old adage, no pain, no gain, but that's really not true. If you feel pain, there's something wrong. There's a reason that you're in your body's telling you, hey, stop, I'm hurting. So if you feel pain, you're short, you have shortness of breath, you're dizzy, you're, you have nausea, stop, take a break. You may be pushing yourself too hard and be flexible. Allow yourself to take a day or two off if you don't feel well. Um, and one of the best things that I found is writing it down, writing a plan out. I don't care if you write it in pen and pencil or pen or pencil or if you put it on your computer, but if you write it down and you can see it every day, I think it really helps us to stay on that plan. So here are some doTERRA products that really help us and a couple of, in an active lifestyle, a couple of, about a month ago, John um, Levitt taught us a class on being active or being an athlete and oils that he uses in his workouts. Um, and I'm obviously, he and I both agree, lifelong vitality, you can't get a better product to use. And I'm not gonna talk about it here because I'm gonna incorporate it into the part about food here in just a little bit. Um, Peppermint essential oil can give you a tremendous boost in your energy using peppermint beadlets. If you're a walker or a runner, a bicyclist, if you have some of those beadlets with you when you're exercising, instead of stopping to put a drop of oil in your hand, rubbing it in and breathing it, which I like to do before I start um, my walk, you can just pop a couple of those beadlets into your mouth and gives you the same effect. I also, also like to use the Breathe Blend it before and after. It really helps me, especially after, if I've really been going and I'm starting to cool down, Breathe helps me to breathe deeper, to take more air into my lungs. So I really appreciate having that Breathe Blend. blend. The Yoga Blends, um, they weren't created just for yoga. They're great for a yoga workout because there's anchor or arise and I'm not gonna be able to think of the third one, um, align, anchor, arise and align. And so they sound like yoga, but the benefits you get from those oils are amazing in many, many aspects of our life. So those blends are great to have. Um, and of course the deep blue products, which there are many of, and I use just about all of them. I use the oil, I just told you my oil story, using the oil and then using the rub on top of that. I use the deep blue polyphenols every day I take those capsules. Um, they help me to, so dry here in Arizona guys, sorry. And they help me to, um, it really helps any kind of pain that I have. Um, I like the deep blue in the, before I start a walk, 
I like to put deeply rub on the bottoms of my feet and rub it up my calves and my quads. And then of course I wash my hands and then I go for my walk. And then after I get back, take my shower, get myself as I'm getting dressed, I do the same routine with a deep blue rub again. And it really helps me to recuperate from my workout. And the last one I have on here is the Mito2 Max. And Mito2 Max is a proprietary form formula of standardized plant extracts and metabolic cofactors that support healthy cellular energy production. Mito2 Max supports optimal mitochondrial function, aerobic capacity, and stamina naturally without the use of harmful stimulants. So instead of drinking and having an energy drink or having something full of caffeine or taking a supplement that may have guarana or and caffeine in it, if you take the Mito2 Max, you're going to get a good natural boost to your cellular energy, and it will really help you to feel more energy. And of course, I've got the little statement down here. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. You're going to see that a lot on here tonight. Um, so just know that these products have been tested, but not by the FDA. And so we know they work. We know the quality of the product that doTERRA puts out. We know that it's been tested thoroughly and you can use it safely. So just know that when you're using Mito2 Max, you're not drinking, you're not getting an energy drink. You're not gonna get some real strong boost all of a sudden and feel like, wow, I'm zinging, I'm buzzing, but you're going to get lasting stamina. So I, I really like this product. All right, what we eat, what do we eat? In the US, most people follow what is called the standard American diet, which is often abbreviated to SAD or SAD. And it really is SAD. The abbreviation is so appropriate because studies show 63% of America's calories come from refined or processed foods and half of our plant-based calories come from French fries. That is sad, I'm sorry. We should be eating proteins. Our body is literally made of proteins. Keeping it out of your diet is an extreme problem. We should be eating fats. Fats are good for our body and we need all forms of them. We don't need to stay away from butter or whole eggs. We need to be eating carbohydrates. We need to have vegetables which are carbohydrates. They're good for us, they fuel us. There are so many benefits, I can't even tell you all the benefits. If you wanna do that, just go online and study benefits of vegetables. Um, fruit and vegetables are key. We need some dairy, not lots of it, but some. And except for sugar, everything is important to the body. So here's just some pictures of good, healthy protein, fats, and carbohydrates. And you'll see that many of them cross over into different categories. So you've got healthy fat in salmon and protein in salmon. You've got healthy fats in nuts and seeds and protein in nuts and seeds. Same with eggs. You've got carbohydrates in legumes and in vegetables and in fruit. So all of these things are very good for us. And that's, that's what we need to strive to be eating. And it's often very, very difficult for us to do that. Many of us are busy, many of us work, we come home, then we need to prepare a meal. And of course, there are lots of ways to help do that, to find ways to make it easier for us to prepare proper foods, but we need to take the time to do that, to take care of ourselves, or we're not gonna have energy, and then we won't be able to take care of ourselves or anybody else. So avoid added sugar. Sometimes it's easy to spot where it is. We know it's in soda. We know it's in energy drinks, in sweetened cereal and candy and chocolates, in flavored yogurt, cakes, pastries, and cookies. But sometimes it comes in some surprising places like 
whole grain cereals. You think, oh, this is a good whole grain choice for me. But if you look at the label, you're gonna see that it has a lot of added sugar, particularly in granolas, instant flavored oatmeals, <clears throat> frozen foods of any kind, granola bars, protein bars, protein shakes, lots of added sugar in those things, pasta sauce, dried fruit, canned fruit, apple juice and fruit juices. If you choose to eat fruit, it's a good thing to do. We want you to eat fruit. Try to eat the natural fruit. Don't have it in a juice or canned, or you can have it dried occasionally, but just try not to overdo it. It's even in baby food, which to me is just insane. That's how fast they, <clears throat> they the they, <laughs> that's how early we start to get trained to have added sugar in our diet. And it takes some time to get that out of our systems if that's what we've done. You find it in barbecue sauce, ketchup, salad dressings, mustard, all kinds of different condiments. So you have to adjust your little taste buds to get off the added sugar. Um, focus on whole fruits and vegetables. Avoid prepackaged foods as much as possible. Make your own granola. It's not hard to do. Um, add oils to your water instead of having a soda. Make your own pasta sauce. And if you don't have time to make your own dressings uh, or condiments, a good source without added sugar is Primal Kitchen. And you can find those products at Sprouts and Whole Foods. And you can see here, just it's very interesting to me that cake is only 5% and soda is 33% sugar. Even the hidden sugar in ketchup is 26%. You know there's sugar in that cake but we don't always know there's sugar in the ketchup that we're eating or in the, in the barbecue sauce that we're having. And sometimes it hides as a different ingredient like corn syrup. So you have to really be careful. And then you can look down here and it's actually two sides to the coin. You've got the donut and the candies and whatever these are. And then you've got nuts and seeds and fruits which have good sugars in them. So, doTERRA products that can help us with the way we're eating. Again, lifelong vitality and the nutrition line. And I'm gonna talk more in, at length about both of those in a moment. The Slim and Sassy blend, um, it comes in a soft gel. So if you don't like the oil and you still want to be able to use the Slim and Sassy, you can use those soft gels. I like to add it to sparkling water. I like Topo Chico and I like to put it in Topo Chico. Um, I don't know if any of you remember Fresca from years ago. It was a, a grapefruit soda that Coca-Cola put out. When I add that Slim and Sassy to my Topo Chico, that's what it tastes like to me is Fresca. It tastes like a little bit of a grapefruit soda. So I enjoy adding that to my um, sparkling water. Same thing with the citrus oils. Um, all of them, lemon, grapefruit, tangerine, um, clementine, green mandarin, lime, wild orange, all of the, we have so many wonderful citrus oils and you can put them in your water. You can put them in your tea. There's a myriad of ways to use those and they will help you sustain a good healthy diet. Cinnamon bark eat essential oil. If you're craving, you can take a drop of that cinnamon bark and put it on your tongue. Granted, it's gonna taste like you had a hot, a hot, can't even think what they're called, hot tamales or some of them, one of those hot candies, a red hot, and but it will help to stop the cravings that you're having. And of course we have our Terrazyme and our PB Assist Plus. Um, Terrazyme is our digestive enzyme complex. It supports the body's constant production of enzymes. And the PB Assist Plus is a probiotic and a prebiotic, and it helps to keep helps us to keep a, a healthy gut biome. So let's look at lifelong vitality. Of course, we know we have the three separate products that come in the box that we get. And the first one is the Microplex VMZ, and that's your 
vitamins and your minerals. And those happen to be sourced from whole foods. So you're not just, you're not getting something synthetic. You're getting a good whole food supplement. The Z omegas are our um, omega fatty acids that we really need. And will also help you with your fitness routine, your workouts, because it helps to lubricate your joints, not just, not just good for your cardiovascular system, but good for your joints as well. And the alpha CRS, which is made for cellular vitality. Um, the primary benefits that you get from this package and from all of, all of the three products, you get general wellness and vitality, antioxidant and DNA protection, energy metabolism. They're, they give us bone health, immune function, stress management, cardiovascular health, healthy hair, skin, and nails, eye, brain, and nervous system support, liver function and digestive health support. They help our lungs and our respiratory health. They're gentle on our stomachs and they're not, they don't have any GMOs in them and they are dairy free. So let's look a little bit at Alpha CRS Plus. Since this is the one that gives us cellular energy, it's a it's the cellular vitality complex, and it's a, pro, a proprietary supplement formulated with potent levels of powerful polyphenols, which support healthy cell function by providing antioxidant protection to DNA and other critical cell structures. It also includes a proprietary blend of boswellic acid and bromelian protease enzyme, and that those support healthy cellular function as well. And because vitality doesn't mean just living longer, it means feeling younger and having more energy uh, and includes a cellular energy blend of important metabolic, can't see it, metabolic factors of um, cellular energy, include, including CoQ10, alpha lip lipoic acid, can't see that one either, acetyl L-carnitine, and alpha CRS also includes a botanical extract of ginkgo biloba, which helps support mental clarity and energy. Now, I know when Shaleen first introduced me to these, to these supplements, she told me she couldn't take her supplements past four in the afternoon because they kept her awake. Now they don't keep me awake, but they will give you this, this one in protect, particular will give you more energy. So if you think it's going to interfere with your abilities to sleep, then you want to take it earlier in the afternoon. I try to take mine before three o'clock in the afternoon. And again, these statements have not been evaluated by the FDA and you'll find that with any supplement that you buy anywhere. Um, of course, we know that this is a very affordable product. It's $80.50 wholesale for all three bottles and that's a month's supply. And if you try to go find all of that stuff or put together your own package of supplements to match it, you'd spend well over $250, $300 trying to do that. So it's, it is it is doTERRA's most popular, biggest selling product. And you can always, you need to remember, if you're not taking it and you start taking it and you don't like it, they will refund your money. So it's 100% refundable. So now we're gonna look a little bit at the nutrition line. Um, it's three products, protein, greens, and fiber. There's three, there are three different proteins. There's a vanilla and chocolate protein that are made with whey protein. And then there's a vegan protein. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that. It provides 21 to 22 grams of protein. Uh, the whey protein comes from, oh boy, I made a typo, sorry. Cows that are pasture fed and RBST hormone free. It's sweetened naturally with monk fruit and it's scientific, scientifically formulated to help so support muscle growth and satisfy hunger. The vegan option is formulated with plant-based proteins from peas. Um, it packs the same punch with 21 grams of protein per serving and it provides seven grams of fiber 
It also includes pumpkin seed, protein, sacha inchi, and flax seed. And all three products are non-GMO. The greens, doTERRA greens, provide the equivalent, one, one scoop provides the equivalent of one to two servings of fruits and vegetables. It's a good source of fiber. It can support normal metabolism. It's natural, non-GMO, gluten-free, and vegan-friendly. And it has kind of a, a neutral mixed berry flavor, which is great if you want to put it in your smoothies or some kind of um, do-it-yourself concoction that you've made yourself. It has, it's pure plant sourced um, and it supports healthy immune function, digestion, weight management, and energy. So it's another way to get your energy. It's a good way to get your greens. If, to me, it's pretty easy if I'm making a smoothie, put in my liquid, add my protein powder, my doTERRA protein powder, and then just grab a handful of greens and put it in there and some frozen fruit fruit and put it in there. Sometimes though, I'm in a really big hurry. And sometimes in the afternoon, I may want to pick me up. Then I will definitely go to the greens because it's just a scoop on top of the, maybe some protein powder and almond milk. And I am good to go. So it's a really good quick fix if you want to get extra vegetables in your diet. The fiber is obviously a high source of fiber. It has high potency vitamin C. It helps maintain a healthy microbiome. It pr promotes healthy digestive function. It can, may support cardiovascular health and our immune system. And it may help support our metabolic processes and may support weight management goals. Now, some of those last ones, the digestive function, the metabolic pro processes and the weight management goals, you'll hear from any fiber supplement that you may take. And it's true because fiber makes us feel full when we have fiber. Um, doTERRA's fiber is sourced from whole food sources like apple, tapioca, and flaxseed, which support a healthy and regular dig digestive system, helps control your appetite. And that's another thing it does because it fills us up and it does really help your digestive system. It also, fiber helps move things along in your bloodstream. That's why it says it can support cardiovascular health. It's not, not just moving things in your digestive stream, but also in your blood. Your, it keeps things from sticking, keeps things loose and moving along. So that's why it talks about including the cardiovascular and the immune systems. All right. And I think I'm done. I am. So... Any questions on how we can achieve a healthier lifestyle and have more energy? Anybody? I, do, I would just encourage you to try to eat, eat better and get more active. And those things are really gonna help, going to help you to have more energy. Sometimes people think it's just counterintuitive to be more active, that that's going to help, but it's, it's not counterintuitive at all. Um, I'm happy that you were all here. And if you have any questions, please let me know or let Shalene know. And we did record it. I am gonna stop recording now. Yes.